Hi all, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapatia. This is the tale of the build of this boat that you see behind me. Um, basically the tale of, of one person, i.e. this one, uh, building this 32 foot uh, cruising vessel. And I say she's there to be seen behind me, looking a little bit forlorn perhaps, it has to be said, You're draped in a winter tarps, you know, that are there to try and keep the worst ravages of the autumn and winter off. Um, as you'll notice, it's hat time again. It's got, got a bit chillier, although today's a bit better, but last week we didn't get above freezing, so it's, um, you know, <laughs> hat time again. Anyhow, I say this is the record of the build of this boat, and um, uh, it's certainly hoped that come springtime she'll be emerging from those tarps like a, a butterfly or perhaps a a very fine swan indeed and uh, it would be time to transition this this channel from a build to a to a sail channel and uh, we're certainly looking forward to that this week um, well there are probably if you're a regular viewer there probably won't be many surprises um, you know you'll know that I've been working on on rudder irons for for some considerable time now and and that's slowly but surely progressing we'll be having a look at that in a bit and the other thing that's gone on and you might just notice on on my left here your right i guess um in the background there the sail drive is returned has returned to its rightful place which is very nice So we're here in the workshop. And last week, I'm sure you remember that I just finished making these irons that fit actually on the rudder. Um, and I dare say it's no surprise to you to hear that, that you also need some that fit on the back of the boat. And this boat's, you know, it's a double ender. So it's, it's got a pointy end forward and aft. <laughs> and uh, well, that all looks very beautiful. And I've always had a bit of a, a soft spot for double enders. But um, when it comes to making the rudder fit in, that, that presents its own challenges and one thing is that the, the angle of that V at the top is not the same as the angle of the V uh, at the bottom so you've got two different angles that you're trying to produce whilst keeping that constant distance so here's the one for the top that is done and finished just waiting for a polish up that's all very lovely and the one for the bottom is here and, and Still needs a bit of shaping and some holes, but it's basically there. And that angle is not much difference, but you'll probably see there that there's a slight difference of angle there, and that takes well, takes a degree of thought. And in fact, you know, to the amateur builder, you know, you professionals, you probably knock these out between a cup of coffee. But the amateur builder is, uh, for, and you're doing it for the first time, of course. And and a project like this, you're doing everything for the first time. It takes a lot of thought. And in fact, these, you know, these silly little bits of metal that don't really look that impressive, have probably taken me as much thought as as some of the other big things, as, as the rollover, you know, which was episode 44, wasn't it? You know, amount of thought that went into to how to roll that over or the keel cast in episode 223 I believe You know, but in terms of thought, these things, they're, they're comparable. But I have four rudder irons 
and uh, I've now also ordered bronze to make the bottom rudder shoe it should be coming this week and we are getting there This is what we've got so far. I've welded both sides of the bend just to reinforce that. And it feels good and solid. Obviously I'll put a brace across here, shape up the ends, drill some holes. Looking quite good though. That's about right. That's about right. Yeah. Should have kept that then. Just to sort of labour this point, you know, I do think there's something very, very worthwhile in building things as an amateur, you know, um, because you have to put your thought into it, how you're going to do it. You, 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 you're not the professional who does it, you know, day in, day out. As an amateur, you approach these jobs um, freshly, don't you? And, and uh, I know, for example, Doug on, on SV Seeker, used to have maybe still has this thing of what did you build today encouraging people to build things and, and that's a great sentiment you know building things doing it yourself is uh is a noble art isn't it so it's time to get the old uh sail drive back in a bit chilly i've just lit the stove uh, about the freezing point but uh there we go Drag it in there and fit it. Let's go. Yeah, so getting there. It's not an easy job on your own, in truth, but I think the splines in line, it's about to slide together. Phew. Ah. 
and I'm very pleased to say that it's in. Back to having a working engine. I just need to put a propeller on it to actually do something. I guess it needs to be in the water for that. Looking good, I think. Hold that up like that and hopefully it'll focus on that. I rather doubt it. But what I find these days is, is that um, you can go straight through stainless with, with really quite big drills. As long as your drill bit's the right, got the right angle ground on the top. And I buy these, I think they're cobalt steel drill bits with this very flat angle, shall we say, on the top. And they go through stainless really beautifully.
don't think so. I think this wants to come in a bit more like this. This is, it's too narrow, I need to widen it. And I think if I run a weld down there, either side, that this will bend upwards. I'm gonna try it. It's not a right lot that needs to go, so it's an experiment. I'm gonna try it. I shall give that a cool down and see if it fits. And there we go guys, that's it for this week. Thank you to you for watching. Massive thank you to the lovely people who support us on Patreon and via PayPal. Uh, yeah, that's lovely, thank you. Um, all that YouTube stuff, of course, the thumbs, the comments, the subscribe button. And uh, we'll be back, hopefully uh, getting on with, with the lower rudder fitting. Clearly, you know, that last last iron just behind me there will be finished in, in, in next to no time now, it's nearly done. So that lower fitting and, and uh, as soon as possible getting that rudder on. Perhaps one or two other things around the boat can be done as well. The, the list is getting shorter. See you next time. Bye.